I'm on page 315 of our Osborne book, Pivot Tables and Workbook Management. Exercise one, we're going to be looking at freeze panes. So to do this, you're going to need T8 freeze and you need to save it as T8 exercise one. Your spreadsheet should look like the one I have in front of me. We want to freeze the sheet so that the first row stays still when I go down and the first column, column A, stays still when I go across. To make this work, we'll click on B2, I'll go to View, and then I'll click on Freeze Panes. Now if I go across, you'll see that the first column has stayed stagnant. If I click down, you will see that my top row has remained stagnant. We've now been asked to basically ensure that TF Curries and Month 7 is in the top left hand corner of our screen. So I'm just going to move across till I get I next to A and I'm going to move down till I get TF Curries in the top left. And there you have it. If we wanted to compare data, so for example, month one to month seven, I need to unfreeze my data and you'll see it reverts back to the beginning. I'm going to click on D2, always the one in front. I'm going to click on freeze, which now you'll see the gray line has formed. I can then go across till month seven is by its side and I can compare the data accordingly. We now want to freeze the pane so we can visually compare Allen & Co on row 7 against TF Curry. So I'm going to unfreeze my work. I'm going to click on B9, the one in front, and freeze the pane. Now if I scroll down till TF Curry's is underneath Allen & Co, I'm able to compare the data. Save your work, keeping the same name, and this stage is now complete.